Hi everybody, it's Dara, and I am really excited to share with you, check this out, <laughs> guess what this is, do you know what this is? It's not durian, this must be 27 pounds of a fruit that was grown in Mexico, I think it's Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. and it's called jackfruit, and it smells like juicy fruit gum, and supposedly that's where juicy fruit got their flavor idea from, jackfruit. So, I have two of them, and I'm going to choose the one that's the most yellow, the less green, because we ran into someone who told us the more yellow it is, it's like a banana, the more green it is, the less ripe. So I'm feeling, I mean, I smell it, so as long as you smell it and it's somewhat yellow, I think this one's ready. Now. I have this icky oil. Do you know why I have it? I have this oil not for eating. I'm going to put this on my hands and on my knife because there's something in here that is so sticky that you cannot get it off of your knife or off of your hands. When I was a private chef, there was a period of three weeks where I was feeding about 35 people. And one night for dessert, I brought a massive jackfruit, twice the size, cut it in half, and everybody got to reach in and grab pieces of the fruit, but first I gave them plastic, little plastic gloves, because otherwise it would have been all over them. So I'm going to get ready, and my friend Renee is here. She's more than welcome to stand by me as I do this, or you might want to stay away, I don't know. Okay, and I don't know, huh? maybe if I need to, the last time I, I didn't put oil on, and I think that was the problem. So we're going to try this method. And are you ready? Renee, can you check and see if they can see what I'm up to without knocking it? Yeah. Can mm -hmm. they see it? They can see the, the fruit? Yeah. Da da da. Basically, you're cutting it in the middle, all the way around. Yeah. Do you need to shift it a little bit? You I can tilt like... it. Just there's a handle. You could drop, tilt it just a tad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just cutting it in half. The knife isn't going all the way through, so this is going to be interesting. I might have to make one more. Look at that sticky. Do you see that? I'm not going to touch it. It's so sticky, like glue. Do you see the the <laughs> string? Can you see the string? From well, there? I can see it, but I don't know if it's going to come out on the okay, video. Well, there's a string, as if it's like, like sticky glue. So I'm going to cut down the top so I can take a section of it out. So it's good to try new things. Don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to be scaring you. I hope you're all not afraid of durian because it smells and jackfruit because it's sticky. Oh my goodness. Let's see. So, I'm going to say an uh, and so it is statement. I am adventurous. <gasps> I have to say I'm adventurous. Okay, ceramic knives are not the thing to use. Oh, okay, man. so obviously don't use the ceramic knife. Now I know everybody's worried about how I'm going to get this blade out. Probably going to have to use the, the cleaver, maybe. Well. <laughs> want me to pull one side? No, no, I don't want you to touch. I'm worried you're going to... You want to... Do you think... I don't know if I've cut it enough to separate it. I think that's... Yeah, okay, so use... Now we found out something else. <laughs> that a knife that is fully... Yeah, that was silly of me to use ceramic. It's such a delicate knife. It's a good thing that was my second, that was my knife that was already chipped. This is much better. There we go. That's a lot. I love how I'm fine. learning in front of thousands of people. <laughs> it's always like, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> I started to say, okay, I'm adventurous. <laughs> 
I am fun. I am happy. I am fully alive and celebrating today. And so it is. Okay. Oh, look, it, it's stuck. <laughs> That's how sticky it is. I didn't even have to struggle to pull it out. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And of course, I forgot to oil this one, right? <laughs> okay, we're almost there. I wonder how many of you have tried jackfruit, how many of you like it, how many of you would even attempt to after seeing me struggle. <laughs> That should do it. Oh yeah, I think that should do it. It's it's because it's so um. Wow. <laughs> wow. Right. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure there's a better way. It's almost like mozzarella cheese. Uh, right. Exactly. I was gonna say that. <gasps> Got it? Okay. <laughs> now I don't want to put this on my counter. Would Here. you go grab a paper towel? Actually, I'm going to need it to cut. Might as well use it to cut a piece. Are you ready? So really what it is, is it's the pods that we want. So there's little pods here. I'm not a jackfruit expert, clearly. This one may not even be ripe. <laughs> <laughs> I may not be posting this video. <laughs> Maybe like a... Okay. Oh, the pits are coming out. I don't know. Hmm. Right? I think it's supposed to be a little bit... Like those pieces are supposed to come out easier? It's like the worst kind of marshmallow. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so, but let's see. Maybe not. Maybe I've got... Yeah, the pieces are supposed to come out easier, hmm. but it might be. I'm going to suggest you guys do this outside. Now, raw foodists will use jackfruit as like a... All right, Renee, you game? Yeah. So, raw foodists will use... This is almost like the texture of, I hate to say chicken, because that sounds really gross, but people will substitute, simulate. I mean... Mm. It's not ready. Is it ready? It tastes good, but it's very um, stringy. Mm hmm. I think it's almost ready. We'll see. Mm. I love the taste, though. Yeah. It's like, it's hard to chew <laughs> or tear apart. Mm hmm. It's close. Mm hmm. I don't think it's. If you take the top off, like the top white part off, and you just get this, try this piece. This one's good. Okay. Is it worth all this trouble? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Renee thinks so. That's good. Mm. Okay. That's so good. we can take out these pods and season it like we have an idea for it. It's going to be a surprise. What shade of... Oh. So anyway, mm. so what do you think? I like it better than the frozen one. Okay. They sell these frozen already D. It seems like even more of a juicy fruit flavor. Are you in? It seems like even mm. more of a juicy fruit flavor than the frozen one. Mm hmm It's good. It's really good. So I encourage you to try this if you come across a jackfruit. If not, get them frozen in an Asian market. Do you want to put oil on? Oh. The oil helped. My hands. And that's it. You just have a jackfruit party. Dig in. Okay, everybody. We are back. And... Right now, we have, we decided that since they're so chewy, that we thought it would be great to make a jackfruit smoothie. So, we put in coconut water, jackfruit, and what else? Um, That's it so far. Should we put we in the coconut 
Fruit or the no? coconut. Yeah, let's put in the coconut fruit. There's some that are left. Let's put in really some coconut sweet. fruit. Be careful, Renee. <laughs> and I'm going to put in a pinch of salt because that will bring out the sweetness. And I have never had a jackfruit smoothie. I'm tempted to put spirulina in it for a little protein, but I think we'll try it without it first. Um, that's it? I think that's it. Okay. Try it. Frozen, like, banana or something, or banana cake. but I think it needs a little citrus something. Try I think it needs a little orange or a little lemon, just a teeny squeeze to brighten it up a bit. What do you mm. think? Don't you think? Those, those aren't pixie oranges, are they? Are they tangerines? They might be. Whatever it is, we can I squeeze. think it would be good. Right? Mm -hmm. A little bit of brightness to it, right? And we could put in, I have a couple little baby bananas, that might be nice. Oh, you got some? Um, they're over behind me to the oh there. So I'm squeezing, squeezing some citrus. Now the good news is we don't have to deal with the fresh jackfruit because I also have frozen. So next time, the nice thing about frozen fruit is that when you go to blend it in the Vitamix, you end up with a very cold frozen drink, which is mm -hmm. why I like to keep frozen bananas, but I don't have frozen bananas. That's okay. It's actually better for our bodies to have the food at room temperature. That's what I heard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when he's throwing things at me. Okay. Earthship Products is out of the ground vanilla bean, so wow. we're going to have to find another. Oh, look how beautiful, Renee. Oh. This one's going to be yours. like an orange Julius. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm. You get the way bigger one. Because you're my friend. What do you think? Mm. Is it good? Mm hmm Very good. You still feel like you need something? I'm just thinking more jackfruit. Mm -hmm. More flavor, more yeah. jackfruit flavor. Uh -huh. I feel like pulling out the fruit. This is hard to deal with, this one. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like digging in there to get more jackfruit? I can do more. All right, so we're going to do more, but we're going to sign off for now. Cheers, everybody, and still get your greens on. <laughs>